Welcome back everyone. We're in the Giants Editor today. I'm Jewel and we're going to do a tutorial and show you how to get rid of this foliage that is in the areas we don't want it, which is in our concrete area. So on the other episode we just did, uh, I don't know what step it is. We I have several, step one, step two, step three, and so on. So I'm not sure what, which one this is, but we've already shown how to paint down this uh, ground here and I put concrete here. It used to be gravel. This is the Elm Creek uh, map which is being edited by us just a little bit to show on tutorials. So I want to show you how to do this. This is for beginners not for people who's already done it. Obviously this is for people that's brand new, never seen nothing, don't know what they're doing, trying to show you some things. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your right mouse button and you're, you're going to hold it down and you move your uh, mouse around and left to right and you can do that up push it up and then pull it down it does that and that helps you be able to move around I'm still holding down the right mouse button then when you find your spot say there let go then if you want to roll in closer roll your scroll scroll wheel and then if you don't you want to stay back roll it back and then Basically, we're going to try to get rid of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Terrain Foliage Paint Mode. Once we do that, we're going to come to our terrain editing area. And we're going to pick the size brush and what shape we want, which we're going to leave it on round. Then we're going to put it on subtract, which it already is, but we'll do it again. Just click on it, click subtract, for now anyway, because we're wanting to get rid of this part. And then we're just going to click there and go down and you come on down to the, to the next thing uh, foliage layer painting and all these if you haven't already opened these windows you come up here to window and you can open any one of these here and that's what they're called terrain editing click that it opens it and all these different ones attributes material editing uh, user attributes scene graph so so that's how you do that and so what you're going to do is you're going to come here and, and usually when you first start in the Giants Editor, this right here is on Terrain Detail. Like so. So that's what it's going to look like. So you're going to click on that and you're going to come down to, in this case, I guess, Ground Foliage. And then what you're going to do is you, you're good to go. You already have it on Subtract. So you come over here and you can left mouse button it because that's you, what your left mouse button LMB stands for. So on subtract, you're going to come here and left mouse button, and it's just going to disappear as you hold hold down left mouse button and drag it around, and just get rid of all this you don't want, and just go wherever you want with it, take it to wherever you want, and just get rid of it, okay? And just and then when you say you're ready to move to a new section, just turn this off, and and roll back with your scroll wheel hold down the right mouse button turn roll back in and then you click back on it and then left mouse button again and just drag it along getting rid of it it's pretty simple this is our little road we're gonna go ahead and turn it off roll back up right mouse button turn roll in right mouse button turn and roll in all right, so now you're going to click back on the terrain foliage, and you're just going to continue to hold the left mouse button down and get rid of whatever you don't want. And this is just quick, and and, and I'm not trying to be all perfect because I'm just showing you how. See, like you you would want to stay over here more, whatever you want to do, you know, just however you want to do it, and then just get rid of it. Or made a road to this road over here. So there we go. Now we got a new road. This is all just to show you how doesn't have to be perfect nothing like that and then if you're satisfied with what you just did you're gonna click save so click save and it's gonna save it and let it finish don't click on anything while it's saving leave it alone don't jam it up it crash on you you lose your map so try to be patient alright so now that's done so now we're like oh well I want some other th I, I don't I don't just want to do that I want to take away or actually add some sticks or branches. 
So what you're going to do is click on this left mouse button to put it on add. You're going to roll down in your list to the foliage layer painting. It's already on ground foliage. You're going to click on the layer state. You're going to left click and you're going to come down and look for what you want. And in this case just say we, we decide we want dry branches. We're going to click on it. It's going to go ahead and put the foliage channels numbers which the number is 1, 5, 8, and 6. It's going to go ahead and check those boxes when you clicked on that so that you don't have to. And it's ready to go. Just leave everything else alone. And so now we're going to come up here and click on Terrain Foliage Paint Mode which is this little leaf thing. And then we're going to come in and say we want some branches here. So then you can come in and roll this down a little and we're going to put branches. Now you can't see them yet because we're so far up. But just say we're, we're just wanting some, say this is the edge of a forest or whatever, wherever you want to put them. And then you click on this again so you can roll in and there's your branches. So now you have all these little branches, see? Now you can still put the other stuff there so don't panic like, oh no, it's all, all the grass is gone. You can still tend to that as well. So, but first what we're going to do is show you how to get rid of this while, we're, while we have it here. Uh, you can either undo it, click on edit, undo until it's all gone, which I'm not going to do. Or, if you're like, oh, well, I don't want that there, leave it on that, roll back up to your paintbrush uh, or your left mouse button area here, and you're going to put it on subtract. Then you're going to click back on foliage, and then you're going to come over here and you say you don't want this half well you just click on it and you can get rid of it so then that goes away and so you're done see so say you wanted the other half and you got it so now we're gonna move on to the next step okay I'm gonna show you another quick thing I may not get to every single thing because there's quite a bit of things you can actually do but what we're going to do is we're going to change this to say grass. Then we're going to change the layer state to green small. Okay. And we already have it on the foliage uh, paint mode. And we're going to left mouse click and it should be under add. I accidentally changed that. but It's under add. So now we're going to roll back down so you can keep an eye on the other area right here. And you're going to left mouse click up. My bad. I accidentally clicked it on paint. <laughs> that was accident. Let's undo that. Click it back on foliage layer. Okay. Or mode. And left mouse click. Now see there's a different type of green small grass. And then we're going to come and click on layer state under the foliage layer painting. And click on green middle. And then you get a little bit bigger one. Going to click again and go to harvest ready. And there you go, you got a bigger one. And then you come here and it says cut. Now this is going to make it so it's like it's cut. That's what it looks like when it's cut. And then you're going to have cut 2, which I don't know what the difference is. Not sure. But anyway, that's one way you can do stuff. Then you can put it back on nothing. Then you can come up here as well and change this. And say you want canola or wheat. Let's do wheat. Click on wheat, then you're going to come in here and you're going to put it, you can put it on green small, get that, and then you come here, you go green small too, you get a little, little difference, then you get, now these are the grasses, looks like, no that's the wheat, okay, green middle, and then you go up to green middle too, slightly different, uh, green big, gets bigger, that's wheat, then you click on green big 2 changes it ever so slightly and then come on down to harvest ready and you get that then you come on down to dead and you get this and I'm just hitting the left mouse button to paint it on and it's in the add position and then you come to harvest it and you get this and that's what it looks like after you harvest it so those are some options as well put it back on this and then you can pick something else. Uh, I guess we'll try stones or st stone. And then you can come to here, small. 
shows these little small stones. I'm going to turn it off so you can roll in to see it. There you go. Roll back out and turn it back on. And then come back here and put it on medium ones. And you can just see that they're there. We'll turn it off and roll in so you can see it. A little bit bigger ones. And then we're going to put it on the big ones. Turn this back on. And there you go. You got your big ones. Okay. And that's how you paint that down. So then you want to put this back. And you can pick something else. I mean you can go through the list. You can see all the stuff you got here. It changes everything. You got maize. You come in here. Pick what they have. We'll just go to the harvested. Not harvested. Uh, dead. There you go. There's the maize. And then if you want the harvest ready. Three. That's what it looks like. That's the maize. Okay. So. And then if you want it growing. Harvest ready green. Then you got this. See. You can go through each one. Pick whatever you want. And then put it back on zero. And then just, just go along. And then you have the deco bush. And you can come over here. Click on this. And pick medium you get a bush you come on and get you want a blueberry shot you do that you come on short I didn't mean to say shot <laughs> and uh, blueberry big get a little bit bigger one there you go click on it again boxwood small there you go so it's not that hard it's 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 easier than people most realize but you just gotta follow a few little steps I'm just skipping through so you can see some different stuff but you have a lot of options here as you can see it changes and then just click back up here and go to your next thing and then you got your other stuff but we're not gonna go through every little you know every single thing you got you got the meadow you know there you go you got that you got the middle one and then you have the harvest ready and then you have the cut and as you can see they look a little bit different on each one I'm trying to roll you in where you can see it see the difference it's kinda hard to see it there we go the cut one but there you go that should give you enough information to kinda understand it's not every single thing you can do then you could just put this back on terrain detail because you do need to you know try to keep it on a certain thing uh, you have all kind of different um, options and things um, I mean there's so many things you can do I, I mean I ain't gonna make this all that long of a video but uh, then you have the terrain detail height uh, stuff and you just have so much you can do with it so play around uh, get used to it a little bit learn it you know each piece what you want to paint down and put down what foliage you want you know it's so much you can do and if you don't like any of it well get rid of it click undo till it's gone and just get rid of it I'm clicking undo till it's gone and I don't have to worry about it it'll just go right on back to the beginning it'll just be grass there oh and I brought all that back well it don't matter because I don't this is just a tutorial so I'm not making anything with this particular map but anyway that just gives you some ideas of what to do on the on how to use the terrain foliage paint mode and I hope everybody enjoyed. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Go ahead and smash that like button if you like these map making tutorials. I will be doing more. I've just been busy and a lot going on. So apologize it took so long. I'm trying to get them out there. Uh, so show me the support. And hit the like. Watch the videos through. So I'll see it doing well. And I'll continue to make them. For all the beginners out there. There's some people that know already. There's already millions of videos out there. So you can look around and find videos everywhere. So you can learn whatever you need. But I'm just trying to do it for my viewers. So, But anyway, I'm going to catch you on the next one. Please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on your notification bell. 
if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. Goodbye, everybody.